Godfather of the Voyager's Trail Show at my boy Demi TV. It's Wave God and this motherfucker. Hey, shout out my nigga Demi Tito. Got the song pop like I'm Diggy. All they talking about is last night like I'm Demi. Say you got Dean TV cool the merch in the description box below. Go copy son, click the link in the description box below and support your boy. What's up, Dean family, Dean Nation? Today we're doing a news insider business news reaction something to educate us and see what something new that these people trying to help us you feel me so they can, so we can cut out using plastic you feel me and this is a indian seaweed that they trying to create to replace plastic you feel me replace this shit you feel me with seaweed you feel me stuff that's healthier for the environment and our communities you feel me I feel like seaweed is way better than plastic. It's a plastic use, honestly, if you want me to be a buck with you. But that's in the here or there. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social medias and comment below what reaction you want me to do next. Check out the original video in the description box below and the DNTV clothing merch in the description box below. Also, go check out the merch, the clothing, and the beverages, you feel me? And everything that your boy got down there in the description box below, you feel me? And uh, no further ado, let's get into this reaction. This goo can be made into a plastic like film that can cover all kinds of food, and you can eat it. The process that makes that's fine takes place in a high tech lab, but the raw materials come from seaweed farms. Companies around the world are racing to find eco-friendly versions of the thinnest packaging. It's the stuff that makes up about half of all plastics in our oceans. And what's good about that, it can change the economy, the environment around us, especially if people start cleaning up, stop littering, and cleaning up the uh, trash and all that littering shit they've been doing over the years and change that into... Something positive, bro. Our earth gonna be new earth for real, for real. She's invented a product that can replace it. We make geo thin films, which we call the good plastic uh, or uh, the kind good of plastic. plastic. Farming seaweed requires no fertilizers, fresh water, or land. Neha and her team say their product is non toxic and completely dissolves in liquid within hours. They call the company Zero Circle. A hmm. nod toward reducing emissions and waste to zero. And right now, this startup is competing against seven other plastic alternative companies for a $1.2 million prize. Wow. We traveled to India to see how seaweed can replace plastic food wrappers. I'm down with this idea. If you're down with this idea, do leave a thumbs up and comment below. You feel me? Seaweed, seaweed replace plastic. You know what? Seaweed, hashtag seaweed, replace plastic in the comment section. While we travel to India to see how seaweed can replace plastic food wrappers. While extracting this new material requires state-of-the-art gear, farming the seaweed used to make it uses only the simplest tool. Dilip Kumar owns this seaweed farm and supplies at Zero Circle with its raw materials. And this stuff... Fast. That's your organic, huh? Dilip hired locals like Karupia to build bamboo rafts. At one time, fishing dominated this area. But in recent years, more locals have been making a living farming seaweed. They're working in the same water. Got a whole bit of seaweed, sure. Let's try to see what actually seaweed actually is. Instead of the wrapped seaweed that you see in Japanese and anime and all that other stuff. And each knot holds one seedling. Lakshmi has been farming seaweed for 18 years. 
and she says locals' perception of this business has changed quite a bit. I bet they probably didn't believe that now they believers. You feel me? That's how it's gonna always gonna be. People ain't gonna support and ain't gonna believe in it until they see shit happening with it. They're like, oh shit, they doing shit. They making shit happen. You feel me? Don't let them people get to you. Them the type of people you gotta watch out for. Them the people that's trying to keep you in dog when you feel me. Every part of this operation is done by hand, including hauling full rafts in for harvest. Uh, well, damn, that's a lot. Sheesh. That's a lot of pounds. Workers cut the seaweed, but leave some segments to regrow. Then, the seaweed dries in the sun. After about 36 hours, Lakshmi removes dried salt, seagrass, and other contaminants. The dried seaweed lays out in the sun for a few more days before heading to sea. That shit like sea moss right now. For these farmers, seaweed provides a livelihood, but it's not always easy. Don't know what comes to the ocean. That make you think. Like sea, seaweed, sea. So do seaweed actually come from sea moss? What the fuck? They do what they can to protect their crop from wind, waves, and hungry fish. Commercial seaweed farming around the world has increased a thousand fold. Damn, so it's a profit right now. But experts warn that large and rapid increases in seaweed farming could have unintended consequences. Rafts of seaweed can block light and change the way water flows to the ecosystem below. And if farming operations are not managed properly, it can be devastating. So basically doing too much of a good thing can have a, a bad outcome. It's like a bad thing. That's why you got to have a balance on it. Here at Zero Circle's lab in Pune, seaweed transforms into plastic alternatives. First, the dried seaweed goes through several washing and filling steps. Notice how free-flowing this is. They just grind that shit up. Clean water washes impurities away. washed seaweed then goes into a reactor to be heated. The carbohydrates inside seaweed are what's needed to make plastic-like material. This material is extremely gel-like and viscous. Technicians add solvents. It's strained, and then we get this. Turn liquid. You can see the gel start to clump together in the beaker. Next stop is this device That's called a rotary evaporator. That's fine. It removes solvents until it's refined into a more free-flowing gel. Then it's put into a cast to mold and dry. That's fine. That shit turned jello, literally. So basically, plastic jello. I just realized that. Mm-hmm, go Zero like, uh, with heat, just like plastic wax wrap. paper. But unlike conventional plastic, it dissolves in water. In That's boiling fine. water, it's a matter of moments. In seawater, the team says the film would be gone within two to four hours. Wow. And it takes up to four months in a compost pile. Zero Circle designed a product compatible with existing machinery, meaning that manufacturers wouldn't need new equipment to make a plastic Pellets are then put into a manufacturing line, which come out as geochemicals, not disrupting it, but we're sort of uh, retrofitting our product into it. And the company plans to begin selling pellets by 2024. The idea is that huh? manufacturers could make edible, biodegradable forms of many products, like dissolvable soup and tea bag packets, wrappers for burgers, packets. gift wraps, fashion packaging, and Old grocery store bag. Bro, I eat that bit. That bit was in gross. I can't lie. Pulled up to five to eight kilograms in a in a single shopping cart. While these plastic alternatives offer great environmental benefits, traditional plastic film made from oil is still cheaper. We are trying to solve 
two big problems. One is make a fantastic material and make the material at a cost that people are able to use it. So Zero Circle claims to have an eco-friendly Zero Circle so gotta take over, man. And it wants to scale up. But it's not alone. The company is one of eight finalists for the Tom Ford Plastic Innovation Prize. The fashion designer partnered with Lonely Whale, a nonprofit that played a huge role in the movement to eliminate plastic drinking straws. They're offering $1.2 million to find alternatives for thin plastic films. I was ecstatic. Um, hmm. Say looking for an idea to read. Re re the seaweed alternatives. The seaweed community is uh, not very competitive. They're very friendly with each other, and we're all friends. We talk about the same problems. That's not a thing about the way people at home. To make sure the if you find a scientific way or is proven or doing something creative, trying to figure out a way to save their environment, figure out a way how to turn the plastic and the Turn out how to turn um the lettering or bullshit into something positive for the environment, the chemistry, for Earth. You feel me? The better for us, for the future. Battery of experiments. Samples sat in ocean water for months in the same conditions conventional ocean plastic would. junk on it. Other trials assessed how the plastic alternatives might affect wildlife. was inspired in part by her own consumption. I always um, had that guilt um, that I think every millennial has about uh, the amount of pollution that we are creating on a daily basis. Yeah, because so a lot of these zero mill zero mill mill millennials are failed, I have failed to realize this and do certain bullshit. Brands shit. that are switching to paper are still uh, attaching plastic lining, glues, coatings, but Neha and Zero Circle are working to switch even those parts out with seaweed. This is first time uh, we have developed the seaweed-based glue. Seaweed-based glue. It works on cardboard, paper, and wood with quite a bit of strength. Wow. So Zero Circle's future could be growing as fast as seaweed. That's facts. That's something to invest in too, Loki. I can't even lie. Hope you guys like that, Dean Family, Dean Nation. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media and comment below what ration do next. See you guys next time. Love you guys. I'm out. And I'm kind of hungry, so I gotta cook me some. I'm gonna make you feel me. Love y'all. See you guys next time. Your boy out there, like a newborn. You bitch.